Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success. But most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. You guys doing? <laughs> Messed them up. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. Here we talk about homesteading and prepping and raising animals, uh, permaculture, chickens, pigs, prepping, I think I said prepping, stuff, and sometimes the news that's going on. And today I like to talk about homing in on your skills. And uh, so uh, what do I mean by that? Well, it's winter time right now, if you're watching this today or this week. <clears throat> and uh, of course the gardens are kind of not doing much lettuce and a little bit of broccoli stuff like that but not like the summer man we were just getting hammered with all kinds of tomatoes and stuff and canning and storing stuff away and freeze drying we were going all out <coughs> so on our channel you know we've always like to suggest uh, people getting more prepared and not in a fear kind of way, but just econ let's just talk about the economy for a minute. Uh, boy, things are getting expensive. Things are getting uh, tougher. I just filled up my gas tank yesterday for $120. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just tough. And so we don't, you know, we're always urging people to start growing some of their own food. And... Uh, <coughs> Uh, so starting now, if you're on a budget, this is the time to think about, okay, if I live in an apartment or a townhouse or something, maybe I'll get one of those stackable, uh, trays where you can grow something on your porch, grow a few things inside, get a little bit of a growing light. Um, and if you go a little hard, more hardcore to do above ground gardens in your uh, property, which, you know, if you just got standard, uh, urban property, hey, make a couple of, uh, uh, growing beds or something and, uh, start, start growing a little food. So what will happen is if you do start, um, a few things will, uh, occur. When, uh, you get to that point, uh, you're, uh, uh, gonna need to learn how to preserve some of that food because the last thing you want to do is waste any of it. So this time of year is the time to work on your skills. What do I mean by skills? Well, how to preserve food, how to make maybe some garden beds, um, learn how to do some canning, start buying like some of your jars and stuff like now in a pressure canner or a big, uh, water, a water bath, pot, um, a dehydrator, and better yet, if you can afford it, a, um, a freeze dryer. And that's kind of what me and Sherry did last year. At this time, we were buying equipment like that. And then practice, practice, practice. How do you practice if you're not growing food? Well, let's say you want to learn how to do a little canning. Well, let's start with pickles. So go to the store and buy yourself oh, a half dozen, two dozen pickles and start making, you know, look up, get some books on canning, get some recipes and start doing some pickling, even though they're not your, your uh, produce. And uh, give it a try. And, Work on your skills a little bit because 
if you do it that way, the f if it doesn't come out, you're not wasting the food you grew. It's uh, you're just doing small samples of something you got at the grocery store. And uh, each time you have a little success, uh, go buy uh, a bunch of tomatoes and see if you can make some of your own sauces uh, or salsas or pico de gallos or whatever you want. And uh, learn how to can them and um, practice a little bit on get it. Get yourself one of those little dehydrators. They're very affordable. Start with a small one, see if you like it. Uh, and you can get really good prices on that. Um, $29, $39, something like that. Of course, I always got to account for inflation right now, but uh, get yourself a little dehydrator and make a little beef jerky. Um, freeze dry a couple of fruits. The best thing to do is go buy some apples, slice them up, put uh, cinnamon on them, that's all you need, and uh, try dehydrating some of those. They're delicious, the kids will love it. But this is the time. If you've been thinking about getting prepared and, and being a little bit more uh, fruitful, this is the time to work on your skills. So when spring and summer come, and you're, uh, if you can't grow some of the things that we're talking about, like uh, tomatoes or uh, zucchinis and stuff like that, well, pretty soon the farmer's markets will open up. And maybe in your local area, you may have farmers that are selling stuff and you can buy in bulk. And uh, uh, then you'll be ready. You'll have your equipment. You've spent the money already. Instead of panicking and buying it all at once because a good pressure cooker is 100 bucks um, or better. Depends what kind you get. Uh, pots and all kinds of stuff can really add up. And getting your jars, buying jars during canning season is hard. Especially if you're going to try to find any lids at all. So, uh, yeah, it's time to work on your skills. If you can't afford the prep, you can't afford to uh, uh, put away extra food, which you know all of us should do that whether there's a crisis or not. Um, if you get into a COVID lockdown or something like that and you need to stay home more, hey, it wouldn't be great to have the pantry kind of filled up with, you know, extra soups and things like that. And maybe you even get the COVID and you need to buckle down for 10 days and get over it. Uh, having all um, your, your medicines and stuff, get that stuff ahead of time instead of being shocked by buying it all at once because that stuff gets pricey. Um, so yes, this is a great time to work on skills, like Sherry and I. Um, building new equipment, bringing on new kinds of animals, uh, learning how to use flexible fencing. Um, I'm not asking you to do anything Sherry and I aren't doing too. That's what this channel's about. Being a beginner, diving in, do not do any of this in fear, and don't be afraid to try it. And. Uh, I think just a few videos ago, I uh, had a fail about how I was feeding my pigs. Uh, it's going to happen. Um, I was embarrassed and uh, I felt bad about the mistake. Didn't do any harm, but uh, if I hadn't noticed uh, the eating habits of my pigs, um, I could have prolonged a, a, something that could have got serious. Um, so yeah, just dive in, do this stuff. Not one person, well, I haven't seen all the comments yet, has belittled me because I made a mistake. Uh, probably because they realized I made a mistake and I did my homework and corrected that mistake and will do better. Um, that's what our, you know, that's what our channel is all about. It's, I want to show you the fails. Um, I got to watch my son here. Um, you, you need to see the mistakes. You got to see that new people like us, we're not completely new anymore, but um, are going to make mistakes, especially when we're doing new things. And everybody around you, 95% of us, are right behind you rooting you on. And uh, 
It's actually a very pretty day, by the way. Nice sunny day, and the sun shines really bright. And uh, it's really important that this, we get the light right, otherwise everything looks dark to you. So I'm sitting here trying to, I should wear sunglasses, but I don't like people that wear sunglasses. <laughs> I like to see people's eyes. And uh, even if they can't keep them all open, um, kind of tells you that they're for real. Uh, <laughs> this is a personal thing. But uh, yeah, so what can you do right now? What can you do to improve your skills in cooking, preserving, food storage, building things? Um, if you never really built much, ah, go buy a dozen two by fours. Build yourself something that might work in your yard for something. Make a little, <coughs> excuse me, make a little above ground, uh, you don't have to make fancy stuff, I'm not talking about cabinets. Um, make yourself a little planter box. Make yourself something to hang off uh, the porch side or something, anything. And uh, kind of learn how to do that. Um, you don't need fancy equipment. You don't need fancy cutters. Um, you can do that later. Um, but yeah, work on the skills. Uh, preserving food was actually kind of fun, a little intimidating uh, last year, but we dove into it and then we got actually pretty proficient at it. And we're ready to really take it on next year when all of our foods come in, nothing will go to waste. And also in your first year, you may, like, we grew a lot of tomatoes and we did the Jet Stars. Well, Jet Stars are really sweet. So also we found, although we like a, a what we made, um, there was, some of it was too sweet. So we're gonna change what we're gonna grow this time. Our first year was being successful in growing what we wanted to grow. Now we can get a little pickier and say, all right, I want a different kind of tomato. I want one that's good for sauces, and I want another one good for eating straight up and hamburgers and stuff. And uh, uh, this is also the time of year to work on your skills of your diet, what you eat. Um, when you start getting really good food, you'll start eating those fresh carrots, those fresh tomatoes, uh, your own lettuce, things like that, and pretty soon, you actually start craving it. Then uh, when you go uh, to places uh, that don't have fresh veg vegetables and stuff, you'll actually get a desire to want to grow your own and get fresh or go to a local farm or a local uh, farmer's market and start uh, buying their stuff. And uh, don't worry about the organic, that kind of comes natural when you start uh, growing your own stuff and buying it from farmers. Um, a lot of farmers try to avoid chemicals. So uh, uh, don't get all hung up on organic because if you start doing it yourself, it automatically becomes organic unless you go nuts with chemicals. And you don't need to, you'll learn not to. Um, same thing with pigs. So you will see videos of why you shouldn't eat pork and why pork is bad and uh, some of it's religious some of it's uh, uh, preference because how uh, pigs eat and also how they're designed they're a lot different than a cow or lamb or sheep or sheep you know their stomachs are different all that stuff so there's two sides to it um, but the main part you'll find that people don't want other people eat pork, even though the highest amount of meat eaten in the whole world is pork, is the treatment of pigs. Uh, because there's such a demand for it, these farms are you know, putting them in little crates, uh, putting them in really uh, dirty facilities, uh, giving them tons of antibiotics, things like that. And uh, the meat you're buying at the grocery store is really not healthy when it comes to pork. I'm just talking about pork right now. So what if you could grow your own pigs and you don't have to get those enormous ones and you want a pig that's kind of friendly and you don't have to be afraid of, there they are. 
Idaho pasture pigs. They'll grow to about 250, maybe 300 pounds. They're very friendly. They're a mixture of three kinds of pigs. Cooney, Cooney, and I don't know the other ones. Uh, I'm not an expert. Um, but their meat quality is very high. Uh, the way they're designed as a pig. And that's why we uh, work so hard in keeping the Idaho pasture pigs bloodlines correct. So uh, they keep that high quality meat, high quality in their size, and their friendliness. I'm sure there's better words to use. And I know what kind of food they're getting. They're not getting antibiotics. They're getting healthy food, uh, protein, grass, and uh, minerals, and no chemicals. The only chemicals we put into these pigs is vaccines um, to protect them. Like my two females will be getting parvo shots before they have babies. Um, when they were uh, uh, piglets, they got their uh, required shots too. That's the only kind of shots they get to protect them from uh, getting any diseases that could be harmful to people and themselves. But as far as their food, all that stuff, no chemicals. So then, now you know you're getting a high quality pork product. And uh, believe me, this would be my first year to have my very first homegrown pig in my freezer. And I know, and I've been told over and over again, you'll never go back. The flavor is supposed to be amazing. And the texture and the quality will be uh, amazing. So uh, maybe it cost me more to get that kind of pork. But uh, I am, I'm actually, I'm, I buy grass-fed beef already. And I pay a little more because I, I order mine from Butcher Block Box in another place. And it's amazing. It tastes amazing. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. And uh, eventually I'll be growing my own chicken. That way I know my chicken that we grow won't have chemicals in it. I know that they've been treated well. They've been eating well. They're going to be pashed. They're going to be in chicken tractors along places like this. And so I know they'll be eating a healthy diet and I'll have quality chicken that I grew myself. And yes, uh, actually, believe it or not, uh, it seems like the facts are coming out that it's actually more affordable to grow your own. <laughs> and you get so much better meat. So home, homing in the skills. Start one step at a time. If this is your first year, focus on the food. Focus on preserving. Learn how to preserve meat. Make sure you have freezers. Make sure you know how to uh, preserve anything you want to grow. And don't be afraid to grow too much of it because you can store it. Uh, if you love it, Walla Walla onions like me and Sherry, we grow way too many. We didn't grow enough. We want to grow a lot more, which would be way more than we can eat normally. But now we know how to freeze dry it. And so we can preserve it uh, for a long period of time. And uh, those are skills we learned last year. This year, we'll just uh, be better at it uh, and home in on exactly what we want. And each year will get better and better. So uh, I hope this is food for thought for you is if you can't focus on building up the pantry, and yes, we're not in a crisis mode right now, and let's hope it stays that way. But if you're prepared and know that if you went and bought a whole bunch of green beans from a farmer's market, that you could put them all in storage and have them months worth of food. Um, if you can't grow it yourself, in case you see that we're having a crisis. Um, a crisis can be being laid off from work, coming down with sickness. Um, whether it's COVID or something else, where you can't work or uh, you've got a family member home that you need to be with and you can't get to the store or you shouldn't go to the store. Having a pantry good for two weeks to a month is awesome for that. 
If you can go farther than that, that's just good stuff. Rotate your food. Don't let anything get old. Don't let it go to waste. And once you get some other animals, if you have too much of one thing, a lot of our, I always grow too much lettuce kind of on purpose because I can give it to the chickens and I can give it to the pigs. Um, and uh, we use hydroponics so we can grow amazing things. And then we just learned, and we're still learning how to use a greenhouse. And that was a really big risk considering we've never had a greenhouse ever in our whole lives. And I'm telling you, if you can have a greenhouse, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's amazing, uh, especially if you got short seasons. But uh, once again, work on your skills and uh, you'll get better and better and better at it. And uh, right now, the biggest thing we're learning how is we want to develop our soil. So we want animals to do that, permaculture. So we're learning how to use flexible netting, how to use electric fencing, how to feed our animals to get our processes down, how to house them, um, all new skills. And this is the time of year, winter time, to do it because I got extra time right now. If you watch my videos in the summer, you'll see I was swamped with uh, harvesting and taking care of the hydroponics. Uh, next year will be the same thing. The hydroponics, the greenhouse, the harvesting, now pigs, now chickens and meat chickens, uh, gathering eggs, preserving eggs. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's actually, it's a lot of work, but it is so nice and fulfilling to know that you can do a few things with minimal trips to the store. And uh, I think another thing that Sherry and I might get into a little bit is not really deep into it, but learning how to you use more herbs for remedies that are natural that I can grow and store. And uh, uh, I truly believe that God has really given us everything we need on this earth. And uh, we just got to find it and use it. And it's there for us to, to take and uh, uh, to help take care of our bodies. So uh, that's just a personal thing. But I hope uh, this has been a good talk for you. Uh, I can see my shadow. And, hey, I look kind of silly, don't I? Anyway, guys, someday you'll get a camera like this and walk around your property and do your own channel. In fact, this is a good time of year to start a channel, get used to using it, learn how to use camera and editing. Uh, winter's a great time to home in on your skills. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope it wasn't preachy. I was just hoping it stimulates your thoughts and gets you a little bit, get your motor running a little bit. And don't think winter is the time to go, ah, that's for later. No, you want to do this stuff now. This is the stuff you do right now. Home in on your skills. What new skills you want to learn this year? Buy the equipment ahead of time. Don't try to do it all at once so your your wallet doesn't get too too shocked. Uh, my, my wallet was shocked enough just by buying gas yesterday. So guys, have a great day. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. If you get a chance, check out some of our Ranger Rob Country Living hats or beanies. And of course, try out our high quality, uh, very useful Ranger Rob poopy bags. If you got dogs, you go to parks, you go camping, hiking with your dogs, you, you want poopy bags and you want good ones. Ranger Rob poopy bags are those bags. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, <laughs> bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.